something just killed my dog. Something killed your dog? My dog went flying through the air over the tree. I don't know how it did it. Okay. December 16, 1968. Dr. Bernard Hovelmans, a Belgian zoologist, stares deep into a block of ice. Inside a freezing tomb lay a creature, not quite human, not quite ape. Over a period of three days, he and science writer Ivan Sanderson examined the corpse in detail. Could this strange being have been the missing link science has searched for? And if it was, why did it disappear? I think the Minnesota Iceman was indeed a freshly killed corpse. It could rewrite our history books on where we came from and what other creatures evolved with us. A hairy human being, uh, not belonging to any known race. Animal X travels to Hanoi, Vietnam, but first to America to investigate the legend of the Iceman whose origins can be found in a fairground in Chico, California. In 1967, when a showman by the name of Frank Hansen put a new exhibit on the circuit, it became known as the Minnesota Iceman. History recalls this creature as being a cheap hoax, but it's claimed nothing could be further from the truth. Hominid researcher Lori Pye witnessed the Iceman for himself. It triggered a lifelong passion. The body was in a seven foot freezer, long and about three feet wide and about three and a half feet deep. It was put in with its knees lifted up a little bit and it had its arm up over its head. Over the years, showman Frank Hansen came out with several stories about how this creature was found. At one point, Hansen even claimed to have killed it himself in the Minnesota woods. Lloyd Pye believes this is a credible story. It sees him. It puts its arm up like this to protect its face. The, he shoots through the wrist. The bullet plows right between those two bones, goes into the eye, and blows out the back of the head. Anthropologist Dr. Helmut Luce Wasaura of the Australian National University believes that the creature may, in fact, have originated in Vietnam. Within the so-called demilitarized zone came a, a very strange report which was published on the 1st of November 1966. These U.S. Marines in that area had shot and killed a big ape. Large apes shouldn't exist in Vietnam. And interestingly, there was a connection between Showman Hansen and this area. Frank Hansen is an ex-fighter pilot of the United States um, Air Force, of a unit which was stationed in Da Nang. Frank Hansen starts to exhibit a creature which responds very well to that description of being a huge ape, just a few weeks practically after this first mention of this creature. Could the big ape killed in Vietnam have been the same creature Hansen had on display? Animal X travels to Vietnam to investigate the connection between the two. Professor Vu Kui, Vietnam's leading biologist, went to investigate reports on behalf of the government of man-ape-like creatures being sighted during the war. <laughs> Professor Kui says he met some soldiers who worked at an American base. They told him, in about 1965, a helicopter brought in a strange animal. After a couple of hours, they think it was taken to Da Nang. Director of Primatology from Vietnam National University, Vu Nan Tang, adds to this story he believes to be true from local witnesses. 
Tang says the South Vietnamese soldiers put the creature on display in Kong Tum. It was on display alive, and many people can describe it. Did Hansen's army contacts provide him with a showpiece which was smuggled back to the United States and put on display as the Minnesota Iceman? Huvelmans, the zoologist who examined the Iceman, has pondered the same question. Regardless of the creature's origins, he took his findings to the Smithsonian and labeled his discovery Homo pongoides, meaning a species between man and ape. Today, Huvelmans is gravely ill, but he still stands by his findings of 30 years ago. Bob Smith, an ex-private investigator and police detective, has looked at the Iceman story in detail. The FBI began investigating it under two possible crimes. One, homicide, if it was indeed a human-type creature, and two, a federal crime of transporting a corpse across state line. I've talked to Frank, and it doesn't matter to me which picture you paint, Frank was harassed, that I truly believe the creature was real. Because Frank became upset, became nervous, the creature disappeared. In the creature's place came claims from Hansen that he now had a copy or a model of the original on show. The Smithsonian and the FBI turned down the heat. Bernard Huvelmans believes the key to the world's greatest mystery was lost when rumors started appearing about the so-called model. He also believes the Minnesota Iceman was the missing link, some kind of Neanderthal man. This being would have fitted quite neatly into this range. And my seeing it leads me to believe that it was a juvenile Bigfoot. Juvenile Bigfoot or Vietnamese ape man? If the Iceman was such an important find, maybe this is the reason it disappeared. Irregardless of how it came to be in the block of ice, where it actually originated from, that's going to be a difficult question for us to ever answer because of the involvement of law enforcement, the FBI, and the government. The Iceman shows us by its reality that what we think about ourselves and about the, the, again, the fauna on Earth is just not the way it is. Many questions still remain. The most important, perhaps, is where is the Iceman today? Is it locked away in a secret vault? Some suggest all the attention from the FBI buried the Iceman for eternity in an unmarked grave, burying the truth, but not the mystery.